In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a walk around collecting game where you control a character, in this case a Google Android, and you collect objects, in this case Coke cans. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the tutorial controlling a simple rig using Logic Bricks. To make the file yourself, click the link or you can download the file from my website. To control the character in the latest version of Blender, a setting needs to be changed. Click the white triangle to open up the Always sensor and click the three dots to turn pulse mode on. I'm also going to change the priority in the stand action actuator. The higher the value, the lower the priority. Nine will give plenty of room for more actions that can have a higher priority than standing still. To append the Coke can into the scene, change the layout to default. In the file menu, append. Go to the folder where you save the model. Click on the Blender file to go into it. Go into the object folder. I should have given the model a more meaningful name than cylinder. Select it and append. Click the Object Properties button. Make sure the Coke can is selected. Set the Y location to minus 9, the Z location to 1.8. I am going to give the model a more meaningful name, Coke. Select the Armature and set its Z location to 0.75 and set the layout back to Game Logic. Set the shading to texture, pan down, shift and mouse wheel, zoom back. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view, press P to play, press the up arrow and the Android walks through the can, press escape. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and select the Coke can. To make the can disappear when the Android walks into it, I'm going to use a near sensor and to make it disappear, an edit object actuator. Set the mode of the actuator to end object and connect them up. For the near sensor to work, we have to select the body of the Android and dragging with the middle mouse button to scroll the button bar, click the physics properties and tick actor. Now when we press P to play and walk into the can, it disappears. To increase the score, when the can is collected, select the can, add a message actuator and set the subject of the message to collected and connect those up. I'm going to add an empty object to the scene. It will receive the message that the can has been collected and I'm going to use it to store all the properties of the game. To store the score in the empty, we need to add a property to it. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Click the add game property button. Call the new property score. Set its type to integer, whole number. And click this button. We're going to temporarily display the score in the debug area. The debug area is this top left hand corner in the game menu tick show debug properties. Drag to close the properties panel, add a message sensor. The sensor listens for a message whose subject is collected. Add a property actuator. Change the mode to add a value of one to the property score and connect those up. Now when we press P to play and walk into the can we score one point. Change the view to the top view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the can. Duplicate. Hold down shift. Press D and enter. Use the tips of the arrows to move the duplicate down and across. Duplicate the duplicate, shift D and enter, and use the tips of the arrows to move the new duplicate up and across, and notice that all the duplicates have the same logic bricks. 
change the view to the back view and zoom in with the mouse wheel press P to play and collect the cans that's the end of this tutorial we need the camera to track our character and we need some obstacles to make it more difficult and I'll do all that in the next tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.